Tyler Newbin, you are a New York Giant. You're watching Giants Now by Chat Sports. I am your host, Marshall Green. It is day two of the 2024 NFL Draft. And with the 47th selection, Joe Shane and the New York Giants select Tyler Newbin, safety, Minnesota. Here at Chat Sports, we had Tyler Newbin ranked as the second overall safety in this draft class in the 52nd overall player. Newbin is a guy that can play all over the back half of your defense. Comes in at six foot two, 210 pounds. He's 22 years old. He'll be 23 when the season starts. And the Giants, as we all know, were unable to re-sign Xavier McKinney in NFL free agency. And they had a defensive backfield at that safety position that needed more talent. I like Jason Pinnock. I really like Dane Belton. But outside of that, there's question marks there. Javarius Owens was a seventh-round pick last year. Hasn't proven anything. And Jalen Mills is here on a veteran minimum deal. And this is a guy that was mocked as a first-round pick. He's the first safety off the board. You get the best safety in the draft at pick number 47. Tyler Newbin can do it all. We'll tell you more about him in today's video, but I want to hear from all the real ones down in the comments section. You got Malik Neighbors round one. Now you get Tyler Newbin, safety Minnesota, round two. So grade the pick of Tyler Newbin for the New York Football Giants, A, B, C, D, or F. The Athletics' Dane Brugler, in my opinion, is the best draft guy in the business, and he says this about Newbin. He has conservative tendencies in coverage, but he is a four-down player with a coveted skill set. Because of his split field range, playmaking instincts, and toughness versus the run, he is ideally suited for a quarters base cover two scheme in the NFL. He gave him a grade of a second to third round and number 68 overall. You look at some of his testing numbers. This includes the NFL scouting combine as well as the pro day. Uh, 4 5 9 40. His RAS score, not all that high. He didn't test all that well. I think his athleticism shows more up when you watch the tape and his ability to cover ground when the ball is in the hands. And the instincts that he plays with, he sees the field very well. His read and react is one of the best in this class. He sees something, he goes. Uh, not a lot of toe tapping going on. He likes to get downhill and make plays. He's someone that I really like. I, I really, really do. Um, talk about what he does well. He's an instinctual free safety who really spent the most of his time deep and doesn't miss many tackles, which I like. And we talked about all the time how a guy like Newbin would fit so perfectly into this Shane Bowen defense. Bowen, new defensive coordinator coming over from Tennessee, likes to operate with defensive back heavy personnel groupings, whether that's nickel, whether that's dime. He likes to get a lot of DBs on the field. And when you do that, you need to have guys that aren't afraid to tackle. And Newbin, definitely not afraid to tackle. And he's also really, really good in coverage. He came into college as a corner. And in 2021, since 2021, excuse me, he has allowed a 33.0 passer rating in coverage since 2021. He's got corner skills at the safety position while also giving you prototypical size at six foot two, 210 pounds. He showed growth as a tackler to pair with impressive scuff covered skills. He's very instinctual. Read and react is really, really good for him. Overall, I really like this pick. Giants picking at 47. That pick from Seattle that you got in the Leonard Williams trade, you weren't able to use the 39th pick that you sent to Carolina to get Brian Burns. You needed a corner. You needed a defensive tackle, but there was a run on those guys. Kuwait McKinstry went. Cooper DeGene went. And then a lot of D tackles went. Jerzon Newton, as Tavondre Sweat all ran off the board at the top of round two. You stuck and you picked at 47, and you had a damn good football player. And Tyler Newbin, he is going to be an immediate contributor to this team, I expect him to get a lot of snaps early on in the 2024 season. We'll talk more about Newbin around the corner, but I got to tell you guys about our proud sponsor, Game Time. Download the Game Time app. It's the best ticketing app in the game, and when you use that promo code chat sports, you're going to get $20 off your first purchase. If you're looking to save some money and you want to get the best seats for the lowest prices guaranteed, and you want to use an app where the prices drop as the events get closer, do it with our proud sponsor, Game Time. Game, two, Game Time is the only app I use these days to buy tickets because I know that there's not all these hidden fees. You can look at all-in prices, and 
It's easy, and I know that I am getting the best deal out there. And also, I use the promo code CHATSPORTS, and I am saving $20 off. So I'm saving money, and I'm also getting the best prices guaranteed. Uh, shout out to Game Time. Check them out. Get hooked up. Use the promo code CHATSPORTS for $20 off. So Newbin, a little bit older of a prospect, first year in college, 2019. Uh, he enrolled in June 2019. Uh, didn't really play, though, in that season. 2020 is when he really started to get on the field. He had 41 tackles, one forced fumble, one pass breakup, and one INT. He actually led the team in interceptions with one, and it was a pandemic-shortened season, only seven games. In 2021, he was honorable mention, all Big Ten, and once again led the team in INTs, and he was a bowl game MVP. In 2022, he was second team all Big Ten, Led the team in INTs for a third straight season as well as passes defended. Did miss two games due to an injury. And this last year, played 12 games. Second team All-American. First team All-Big Ten. And once again, led the team in interceptions. And he was a bowl game opt-out. Some strengths. He has a broad, filmed, filled-out frame. Rangy athleticism allows him to make plays from various alignments in the secondary. He sees the field with instinctive eyes and the whole field vision to simultaneously track route combinations and the eyes of the quarterback. He looks like a wide receiver at the catch point and collected more interceptions than any player in Minnesota history. Zero coverage penalties over the past two seasons. Absolutely love that, while also being physical in run support and flashes short area bursts when working downhill. Some weaknesses. His movements show hints of tightness. His backpedal and transitions are more efficient than explosive. He's ultra protective of his deep responsibility and gets stuck on his heels, allowing too many front-facing completions. Want to see better urgency in his click and close to drives as a top defender. Needs to clean up some timing issues as a blitzer. And he wasn't all that consistent. And didn't really get asked to match up a lot in man-to-man -man coverage versus slot receivers. Um, underwent meniscus surgery to repair the, la the uh, lateral meniscus in his right knee following the 2023 season. Wasn't 100% healthy during the draft process, and he missed two games with a broken right hand in November of 2022. Kind of some scouting report stuff there on him. Overall, I really like this pick. I'm a fan of it. Um, get a good player. He's going to immediately contribute. Um, and you continue to add to a defense of young talented prospects you talk about up front we know Dexter Lawrence is great young we know Kayvon Thibodeau is great young Brian Burns young and great then you move to the off-ball linebackers Bobby Okereke young and good Micah McFadden young and good use a first round pick on Deontay Banks last year and now use another priority pick on a safety a lot of high talent uh high draft talent and really assets used on this defense it's time for them to be one of the best in the league and I love the addition of Tyler Newton. I want to hear from you, though. Who do you want the Giants to draft in round three? Is it a quarterback? Is it a running back? An offensive lineman? A defensive lineman? A corner? Let me know in the comment section. And make sure you are subscribed to the channel. We are live right now on the channel, breaking down the NFL draft. And I want to see you there. So subscribe, turn your notifications on, and join us for the best draft coverage on YouTube when it comes to the New York Football Giants.